In this video, we're going to learn how to change your Gmail password. Your Gmail account is the same account you use for all Google applications. That includes the search engine, but also your Google Drive, Docs, any other Google applications, Google Photos. They all use the same Gmail username and password. To get started, visit google.com and then in the upper right hand corner, click on the round avatar icon. This could be a picture of yourself or it could just be your initials. Click that and then click manage your Google account. Here we're looking at your Google account setting. On the left hand side, click security and then scroll down to find password. It's going to prompt you for your current password. Next you enter your new password. Your password must be at least eight characters long. I suggest avoid using a password from another site. If another website were to get compromised, if you're using the same password in Google, then that could also compromise your Google account. You can't use a password that you've recently used, so every time you change your password, you need to change it slightly. Another suggestion is avoid using passwords, but instead use longer passphrases. Something like, uh, I like dogs more than cats, or something like that. Generally speaking, longer is better than complex, so a passphrase is better than the password. And if you really want to take your security to the next level, consider using a password manager like 1Password or NordPass, which will allow you to use very, very complex passwords, but not have to remember them. So to continue, I'm going to put in a new password that I've never used before. And then you have to confirm the password as well. If you're unsure you've typed in the password correctly, you can use these eyeball icons to temporarily reveal your password so you can see it to make sure you put in what you expected. Then click change password to continue. Now that's how you change your password. And if you scroll down under password, it'll show you the last time it was changed. So you can see it was updated recently. Remember, now you have to go back and update your password on your smartphones or your tablets. It is something you wanna make sure you do. Again, I do suggest using a password manager like 1Password or NordPass. If you have a lot of passwords, you wanna make sure you keep them secure. That's what I use for my family and that's what I suggest for you. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Let me know if I can help.